Good afternoon guys and happy, I believe it's Thursday. I just had to cut a chunk of this out because I was it's the last minute trying to figure out what day it was. Um, I think it's Thursday, that makes the most sense I think because yesterday was Wednesday. My dad went to the grocery stores yesterday and got picked up all of the stuff that we needed for groceries and everything like that for the week. Um, so yeah guys, I have had like a weird headache sort of thing all day today um and like it's weird too when I get these headaches I they like just kind of like linger they're not super bad headaches but normally they start in the morning like when I wake up and they kind of just last until the afternoon and then in the afternoon they get really bad um like not and still not even really like that bad of like a headache but like they just like I don't know they just like feel like they go on and off all day and then like is it normally in the late afternoon or like at night is when like they seem to like get like 20 times worse um and it's still like not unbearable like I've gotten headaches that are worse but it's still like just annoying like I can't stand it I don't know if it's allergies if I you know from being outside yesterday or too if it's even just from the heat yesterday too of being outside even though guys I like stink and drink like three um bottles of water between yesterday afternoon and like today so pretty much in the last like 24 hours um and also I drank um well I finished my by antioxidant drink so like I had antioxidants <laughs> in it as well um you know and like I said I just my headache feels like it's getting worse um but then like I said it, normally when I get these I'll be probably fine tomorrow so I really didn't end up getting a whole ton to done today. I uploaded this morning, um, but then like, I don't know, it's just like my head. Like I said, I pretty much laid in bed for most of the day and just watched Netflix. Um, and I did do some dishes and I made dinner for tonight and stuff like that. But um, I think honestly guys, it's eight, nine o'clock right now. I think I'm just gonna take a shower right now and probably just watch some more Netflix because I don't know that I'll be able to fall asleep, but I definitely like, am like, I don't feel like starting anything or trying to get anything done really in the next like, probably about an hour or so before I actually am gonna go take a shower and get to bed. And like, especially too, if I do try and start something then, and I get too invested in it, then I'll wind up going past 10 o'clock and I'll stay up too late and, um, you know, normally when I go to bed, I kind of, if I go to bed and have a headache, normally I kind of reset the next day and I'm fine for the most part. Um, so that's why, like, I don't want to wind up staying up later and bothering with, you know, having a headache and stuff like that, which I could just take, like, you know, Tylenol or something like that, but kind of just don't feel like it because again it's like I don't know especially when I get headaches like in the late afternoon or at night unless they're really unbearable I'm like I'm gonna go to bed anyway like kind of what's the point you know like I'm gonna take it for another for like an hour and sometimes they don't always work right away too so I'm like I'm gonna take you know something that's gonna help and it's only gonna last for you know like I'm gonna go to bed most likely anyway in an hour so I'm gonna be you know have <laughs> one less hour like you know not you know not suffering through it I'm like I'll just <laughs> why bother um because normally that's what it is it's seriously like it'll be like you know kind of like lingering throughout the day and I'm like oh this isn't that bad but I should probably take one earlier in the day so it just goes away and then by the late afternoon it probably won't be bothering me anymore um because I took something earlier in the day but normally it's just like late in the afternoon is normally when it seems like it kind of bothers me um, like I said, I don't know what they are. I don't know if it's like an allergy headache or if it's like a sinus thing or like what it is, but this tends to be a lot of times like I know like when I'm getting these headaches because it starts normally in the morning. I don't know if it's a migraine. Like it doesn't seem like it's like, you know, light sensitivity or anything like that. Um, and like, you know, being in the dark doesn't really seem to help either. Um, and you know, like noises and stuff like that don't really seem to like, you know, bother me or anything. Um, but like, it doesn't seem like it makes it worse. So we were actually watching a movie in the living room and Matthew brought his, he has a sound bar. Um, and we brought it downstairs and it didn't seem to make it any worse. Like, you know, it was pretty much the exact same it was before we started the movie. So I was like, yeah, it doesn't, I don't think it's like a migraine or anything, but I'm not totally sure if it is like allergies or something. So. Yeah, I just I felt kind of crummy most of the day today and on top of that too my back's hurting a little bit just because 
I didn't jack did most of the hard work yesterday in pulling that tree stump out I was telling you guys about but um I was out there too like kind of trying to help and stuff like that and like digging it up and everything a little bit um but I never even put gloves on or anything like that because I didn't even like I wasn't even like down in the dirt really I was just kind of using the shovel and like some of the the little um trimmers and stuff like that to try and cut some of the roots um and so like that was literally all I was doing but from like squatting down and bending down and stuff like that my back was kind of hurting me today um I think from that so yeah I felt like I said not the greatest I didn't, I didn't really end up getting anything done today my dad get did get some of the trim on the door in my mom's office done um and then Jack um almost finished actually he almost has all of the bricks done in the backyard um back behind our garage i'll show you guys that at some point and then he also ended up finishing um he painted the trim that my dad hung up today so um yeah the math he didn't even have a project to get done for today and um i wasn't really like like my dad will normally tell me to like these are some of the things that have to get done so i'll like normally kind of like either do some of the stuff or distribute the work and stuff like that for like who can do what and so i wasn't even really on my game today either i'm <laughs> like being like oh matthew you should probably like try and sand this or try and paint this or you know get to this or do that or something like i wasn't even really getting to any of that stuff either um and my mom too i don't know if she wasn't feeling good but she ended up or, she, or if she stayed up really late last night but she slept in until like i think noon or something like that i got up at about 10 i actually slept in a little bit but i wasn't really on it with like keeping other people too like my mom is painting the back cabinet and so like my dad will tell me too like oh here's where all the stuff is too in case like you know like he'll tell everybody as well he'll be like oh you know the paint for you know using it for this thing or the primers here and stuff like that but then a lot of times everybody winds up forgetting where the stuff is so then they'll be like oh do you know where that stuff is and i'll be like yeah dad told me already it was you know in this spot or it's out in the garage or you know it's in the laundry room or something like that like the inside paint we've been using for painting the kitchen and everything i think was in like the laundry room or something so it's like yeah it's in there you know jack painting the trim today i was like yeah it's right out in the garage um you know and that kind of stuff so anyways guys yeah like i said i am i didn't i uploaded today i didn't end up editing and i did dishes today and i cooked dinner for tonight but other than that I just, like I said, I felt kind of crummy, and um, hopefully I feel better tomorrow. I don't know, too, if it's just, like, because it's been super, super, super humid out as well. Um, like, it's kind of stormed today. I mean, I guess not that horribly humid. I'm sure there will be a lot more days in the summer where it's humid, but, like, this has to be probably one of the most humid days so far this year. And it's not, like, very, very nice out either. I did go out in the greenhouse, too, and watered all the plants. I got to that and like i say it rained outside so i don't have to water any outside plants um but it's supposed to i think cool off and be like in the 60s i think until monday and then it's supposed to get back up like 70s and start into the 80s again too by like next week so that's nice like we get a little bit of a cool down but it has been hot out for the last <laughs> couple of days um so yeah like i said that's pretty good the other thing too guys is that right now i cannot get any more plants planted outside like I was supposed to have done by the end of May and I can't get them done because our Menards and a couple of the other Menards it looks like near us are totally out of potting and topsoil which is how we've been filling in our raised beds they're like totally out so my dad was like well it's probably like everybody went over this weekend when it was so nice and also too because it's like the end of like frost pretty much um for like our area so that's probably why anybody that's like trying to get in their vegetable gardens and stuff like that probably was going and buying up all that stuff but they were like i said the closest to us was like a decently far away store had like a hundred bags and stuff like that but like none of the areas that looked like near us had any um of like either of the topsoil or potting soil other than like a super super expensive like ten dollar bag but like normally like even like potting soil is normally like a few bucks um you know like maybe five or something like that but they have like a much more expensive one for i think even a smaller bag it was like ten dollars so it's probably some like specialty kind you know kind of thing um but yeah so i have to wait now and i can't get any of my plants planted unless my dad can check at like maybe ace or lowe's or home depot or something like that um to see if any of those other stores have them near us but we don't have a home depot that oh well no i guess there is a home depot kind of close to us 
but I don't know where the nearest Lowe's is. Like, the nearest Lowe's is actually probably a good ways away. Um, there's a Home Depot that's decently close, but, like, I feel like there's, like, probably three Menards before we get to a first, like, the first Home Depot that's closest to us, and probably, like, five before we get to the closest Lowe's. There is an Ace Hardware in our town as well, and, like I said, we have the Menards as well. Um, but, like, I'm thinking if Menards is out, that Ace would probably be out of it as well. Um, but yeah guys we have to wait we have one extra bed that's done but we just don't have any of the soil for it so we can't plant any plants in there right now um so that's what we're waiting on and um i've got like i said my melon seeds my zucchini my green beans like a lot of that stuff i really should be planting like probably should have planted like last week but again we don't like i've got a whole stack of seeds right now right over here guys let's see this whole stack of seeds right here um all of that stuff has got to be planted the thing i can plant though um i can go and do some seeds in um because i've got like i think well i have to check to see actually when the morning glories i think the morning glories can be planted soon but i have to move my lilies that i have because we're going to do morning glories in this area where we're going to morning glories and i think also moonflowers which is where we did them not last year, they just came back last year, but two years ago we did them in this area. And I want to, cause they crowded out like almost all of the lilies. So I want to move those. Um, I don't know if they might be better only because the lilies are a little bit more established now than they were that first year that we put them in. Um, but even last year too, they were kind of getting like overgrown a little bit. Um, and we don't have anything for them to currently vine up on. So if they do come back, it's a problem, but we have to get some lattice for that. I've also got marigold seeds, uh, zinnias, what else? It looks like that's probably it. Um, that I can plant outside as far as like, you know, seeds and stuff like that go. Um, plants, but all of my, like I said, I've got green beans over here, it looks like. What else have we got? Melon, um, that's, oh, cucumbers too I have in here. Uh, cantaloupe and watermelon and honeydew melon and squash too. I've got a bunch of different kinds of squashes. Um, I think, well, I think just yellow and like zucchini as well summer squash and zucchini um so yeah i think that's mostly everything that we can start planting everything else is already out in the beds we've got beets um our beets are doing good our turnips are doing crazy good we already have potatoes out there as well onions um mainly green onions although we do have some bulb onions i think just like like um yellow onions that are growing in the laundry room actually that we could probably just um plant outside because they're actually doing really well so that's a possibility and some red potatoes too that look like they've got some sprouts on them that we could probably plant out there um so yeah and then i think a lot of our like tomatoes like are coming back from last year too um as well or we have some tomatoes that seeded themselves and um we've got tons of spinach our broccoli bolted so that's not good it's too hot so far um but yeah i think a bunch of stuff that's coming up so we'll see i will maybe let you guys know once we actually have the dirt down and can plant some more stuff but i'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's so make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love it if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of our some shady pieces tomorrow so bye guys